This, look look at this wigs like look at this lace wigs i think i should have plucked it a little bit more but this was the most difficultest thing i ever done in my life like literally like on a serious note this was literally hard okay this is serious business putting on this lace wig is very tedious and so i'm gonna not tell you up too long i'm not gonna be talking too long um because i'm just gonna enjoy my birthday face is beat to the gods okay and you're gonna see how i install this frontal hey guys hey hey welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm gonna be showing you guys the worst when i say the worst i mean the worst frontal wig insulation you have ever seen this was not my intention guys it just ended up you know coming out this way um but yeah let's get into the video so they did say i watched a few videos before actually trying to attempt this this is my first time putting a frontal wig on and they said to put some edge control on the edges and then put the wig stocking cap on your head um, it's not my intention to mess it up. I had everything mapped out in my head like I'm gonna get this This is gonna be so bomb. I know how to do hair. So it's gonna be very easy for me I end up putting some bobby pins In the back just to hold the stocking cap down because I wanted it to be super secured um, But I'm on the next step where you spray the got to be glue on your hair and when you're spraying it you're supposed to see like the edges like your hairline through the stocking cap so that's basically what i was you know trying to achieve doing this process i can't even begin to describe how many tutorials i've watched um to you know try to attempt putting this wig on but it's still i don't know it's i still ended up failing but i did my best it came out quite okay but please continue watching all the way to the end if you want more jokes to see how frustrated i really got trying to put on this lace frontal wig okay like it's not easy at all so shout out to all the perfect wig insulators insulators out there who just makes it look so easy for some reason like my sideburn area right there it just wouldn't um like the transparency of it like you know being able to see the hairline through the stocking just wasn't working out so i ended up spraying a lot of got to be glue and then after a while i just got really tired of it and i started to use my blow dryer just to you know make the process a little bit more quicker then they said to cut the edges of the stocking cap just so that you can start creating for your ball cap method i think that what that is what it's called and so that's what i'm doing at the moment and this actually was hard because when i started to peel off a little bit of the stocking cap off my skin it really hurt like i wasn't expecting it to hurt like that got to be glue spray is really you know it is really um strong that's what i would say it's really strong because i only peeled just a little teeny bit and it really did hurt i think i did a good job guys but i also have ocd so i'm just cutting off a little bit more of the stockings around my edges so just to make sure that it's very neat and then i end up spraying more got to be glue to make sure that the parts the little teeny bit parts that are sticking out is you know glued down to my skin however the section that same section on like my sideburn area on the left side was giving me a whole lot of issues i ended up trying to spray more got to be glue to have that side stick down a little bit more you're gonna see it in a few seconds this side right here i tried my best i sprayed a lot of got to be glue spray and it just wouldn't stick so i decided just to blow dry it and just get it over with now i'm just wiping off with alcohol all of that stickiness from the got to be glue spray so that um like i said i have ocd guys 
and the alcohol literally burned my eyes so sorry for that part in the video now i'm applying my foundation and i really thought like i had this thing down pack like it's really coming to life um i was so excited to do this part i think this is the most this is the fun part of me installing this wig for the first time just trying to achieve that perfect ball cap method that everybody talks about everybody raves about so yeah like i said before i have ocd so of course i'm going to be cleaning the foundation that's on my forehead off just a little bit so that it could be clean like i literally cannot help myself so up next i am going to put foundation inside of the wig this is the instructions that many tutorials said i must do i don't even know like the size of this wig to even inform you of that but when I put this on, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's blending in. I'm getting there. I'm so excited. Now I'm going to be using the Go, I think it's the Gold Host. Host Boast or whatever like that. Say Host Boast. <laughs> Please forgive me. But I'll have the name of it in the description box down below. And I watched a tutorial and I think because it looked like this person has OCD like myself, she said to do the dotted, like dot the glue on the skin and a little bit on the sucking cap and then spread it over and then let it dry just a little bit using your blow dryer. And so that, that is the technique I decided to use for the glue. And so I'm just spreading this glue around the edges, guys. And we're blow drying it until it is clear. So now I'm putting on the wig. I'm not too sure if I was supposed to cut this first. <laughs> and then put the wig on or put the wig on and then cut it with the wig on i like i said i don't know what i'm doing but please excuse me so i am gonna glue this part i end up putting more glue by the way because i'm like that glue already dried up i wonder if i should add a little bit more and i end up adding more and still didn't let the white piece dry like this process like this video is probably like only like 10 minutes or so but i can't even explain to you how long it took for me to just put this on but anyway so we're getting somewhere it's actually starting to stick on one side so i'm gonna finish cutting cutting around the edges just to take off that lace off of this wig so that we can get a nice sleek look So this is the part where I get real frustrated guys because I really don't like how this look at all like it just looks so I don't know and then like you can see like on my sideburns is not sticking and so I keep like trying to you know comb it press it down with the combs but it just wasn't working but you know I'm like it's whatever at this point i already have it on so let me just slip my edges and cut off the lace on the other side and yeah just basically at this point it is what it is so before i slicked my edges guys i just added a little bit more makeup so that i could blend it in with my skin so that it wouldn't look you know like off it would look blended in and more natural and so it kind of looks a little bit better here um, it looks natural it doesn't really look like a lace here like especially on my left side it was really nice and so I was super excited for how it looked now but yeah next I'm gonna be slicking my edges guys so I'm going to just press I have already parted um, my side part and I'm taking this hot comb just to you know press the hair down I've also put some hairspray on this as well so that it could be slicked down and yeah I should have plucked it a little bit more but it was my first time I don't know anything about plucking I don't even know where to begin with plucking but yes so this is what I'm doing just making sure that you know it's it stays down Okay, so I have my edge brush. I got my got to be glue. I put the glue on. I used the comb side and the brush side. And for some reason, I just couldn't get my edges slick properly. 
you know, to all my edge queens out there all, all around the world, kudos to you guys because the edges was not easy at all to do. And I think I put too much glue and the glue kind of turned a little bit of like whitish she around my forehead incorporated with the makeup like the, the foundation made it worse and so i messed up like big times like i said it it made it look very dingy like it looked very dirty on my forehead but i combed my hair over it and it's not really that noticeable now but it looks it looks quite okay but this is the finished product guys and i'm super proud of myself i did a great job it's workable it's wearable it's doable and yeah and so yes guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please click that subscribe button and thank you so much for you, all your support thank you for watching this video period you know <laughs> But this is the day of my birthday and as you can see your girl was feeling yourself. So I will see you in my next video. It's my birthday. Ugh, stay on my teeth. But it's a real one birthday, okay? It's a real one birthday, okay?